Hey y'all, it's Tara and welcome back to my channel. Let's go thrift shopping. I have been looking forward to filming this video with y'all for the longest time. We're working on kind of redoing some things in our bedroom and we finally got around to putting the curtains up. We put a new ceiling fan up and we found the prettiest like tall floor lamp at Costco. And I'm so excited to finally do some little things I was waiting to do until the curtains were up. I even made a little list. It's it's very small. I printed it from my phone so that I could show you because I'm talking to you on my phone. All right. So what we're looking for today, I want to find some matching lamps for the tall nightstands that we have. Now that the curtains are up, I can really see the vision and what I'm going for. And I don't necessarily want a tan shade that's close in color to the curtains and the bedspread and the little cat bed and then the lamp base is more silver and we're going for more like gold so hear me out here's what I'm thinking I'll put some pictures here of things that I found online I would love some sort of green glass without a shade with like I'm not really sure see that's the thing I don't really know exactly but when I see it I will know it I know that that's the one that I want so I'm hoping that we can find a set like a pair of really great lamps they don't have to be green but I feel like the green would tie in really well with the nightstands and then that little green tray that I have on mine and just bring in some color because the bed and the dog bed are black the nightstands are that like green gray the dresser is white it's all very like neutral colors and I would love to bring in some color. So that's what I'm thinking. Also, I like the gold pendant style lamps. That could be really pretty too. If I can, then green glass I think would be really pretty. I also want to see if I can find some handles or like pools for the dresser. They're like a gunmetal color and we actually switched out the handles or the little knobs on the nightstands because they were like a leather pool and it didn't go with the vibe. So we found those little gold ones at Home Depot, Lowe's, one of those. I'll try to find the things that we do have and link them down below. Thrift wise will probably be hard, but as far as like the bed, the bedspread, the nightstands, the curtains, the curtain rods are like a really cool textured black. You can't really see them, but they're cool. The dresser from Costco, the lamp from Costco, like things like that, I'll try to link them. So handles or pools would be really nice. I measured them five inches in total, but four and a half inches from screw to screw. I need eight of them. I took a picture <laughs> of me measuring them. All right, let's move into the living room. We put up a new like anthropology dupe mirror above the fireplace. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I'll link it for you. I just want to keep it like minimal, but like some really cool accent things and maybe get some new picture frames to put some pictures in or something. And finally, which really sparked this whole thing was the dining room. I saw a TikTok where a woman found the coolest like unique girly looking place settings from a thrift store and she decorated her dining room with them. We just have like plain white plates that decorate now. And I think something with some color and pattern would be really fun. So that is the plan for today. I have three places that I wanna go to. The first one is my absolute favorite. It's called Second Impressions. It's near Moffat Road. If you live in Mobile, it is affordable and they have a glass room. It's where I found Candace's dishes that I got for her birthday. They just have so much stuff and it's affordable. If we don't get everything there, which we probably won't, next place we'll go is called Antiques at the Loop. I think it's called Antiques at the Loop, Antiques by the Loop. They're a little bit pricier, but they have a lamp room and almost every single room that they have has lamps. It's more like home furnishings versus like trinket glassware type things. So we'll probably get lucky with lamps there, but it's pricey. I don't know if I'm willing to pay. And lastly, there's a place called Charles Phillips Antiques. It's warehouse, like um, warehouse type thingies. They're all outside. There's like eight buildings. So it's more like wood type things, but sometimes you'll get lucky. My plan, I'm filming this well in advance before you'll see it because I want to find all the things and actually clean them and put them out and decorate to show you the final look versus let's just go shopping and then we'll decorate later. I want to do it all in one. So that is the plan for today. First stop, Yellowhammer Coffee. I actually parked here so I could talk to you, but it's right there. So let's go get a coffee and then we'll reconvene at Second Impressions. Welcome to Second Impression. Impressions is what I want to say, but there's no S. Let's look at these little things outside. I didn't really think the coffee idea through because now I'm holding it while I'm trying to shop. That probably wasn't 
the best idea. Like, look how fun that is. We don't have a space for that, but if we did, the lemon pillow, $15. I don't need a lemon pillow, but that's really pretty. Do y'all remember when these windows were so popular? I think I have a couple at my house because they're just pretty, but you just hung them up. That would be cool for an entryway too, if you have a small space. So let's say 20 bucks. That is really cool. Here's what the inside looks like. So, so many little booths like this. Candace and I have come here with y'all before, but we're just gonna tinker around and see if there's anything cool we could find. Let's remember our list. I like those candle holders right there. The gold ones next to the big ones with the actual candle on it. But I did, I do have some already that are gold from, I think I found them at like Home Goods. If you were going for silver, look how pretty all that is. It is freezing in here and I have a cold coffee. It's so cool, they got these fans on. It's like 40 degrees outside. The Stanleys of your dreams. Red bedazzled, all the different colors. Okay, maybe they're not real Stanleys, but look at the leopard print. Look at those, it's like cow print, but bedazzled different colors. Look at that baseball one. How pretty, how much are those? 40 bucks. These are what all the dishes look like that I got for Candace's birthday, this like pink depression glass. I almost bought this one when I was here. How pretty is that dish? I just price checked it, it's $44 because I thought maybe I could buy it for my house, but I don't know, that's pricey. These two little deer, are they deer? I don't think so, what are those? They look cute though, like that brown neutral color. Is that what we're going for for the fireplace or no? Is it a set? antelope oh yeah two piece $24 that's I like that but I don't really know if that's the vibe that we're going for yet you know I like this brown glass tan glass type stuff um I actually found this really tall container thing at Kohl's but I knew we were coming today so I didn't grab it but like I mentioned this place has an entire glass room but this stuff is pretty too look they're little genie lamps this like little gold trinket type stuff I think is pretty. Brian said yes to those two double like deer, wooden deer looking things. So we may go back and grab those for somewhere. Here's a set of plates, though they're not exactly what I'm going for. Oh, you can't even see them, hang on. Here we go. Like these ornate, just really cool plates. And there's a set of them. But again, I'm going for something a little bit, like the design or like pattern more so on the plate. I love all of this. See something like this. Not That's not exactly what I'm going for, but that's what I'm talking about. But they only have two sets of that. If this was a plate set, I would love that. This little dish is really pretty too. What does it say? Vendor, how much is it? 16 bucks. That's just really pretty. All the things are just pretty. See, this one is 14 bucks. That's more so my speed. Antique plate. I like that as a cute little serving dish. This is not what I'm here for, but also, am I? <laughs> I guess maybe it depends on what plates and stuff we find for the dining room, because if the colors are around the same, then we maybe could do something with that. This brown glass little ornament thingy is cool. What's the price? 85, okay, it's not that cool. This is the first pair of lamps that I've seen. Not what I'm going for, but it gives me hope. Oh, there's another little set. White's not really what we're doing, $24.99. But that sewing table, wow, that's cool. I see some little plate settings over here. That, like if I could find big and small plates like that, I would, I would be in heaven. These little blue ones down here. The thing is I need eight. I need eight settings. More lamps up there. The gold with the like iridescent type shade. And this is the glass room like so much cool stuff in here. Okay, that's cool. Brass ice pick with bar tool. Oh, pick for a bar, okay. See, I could have gotten my candlestick things here, but I last time I was here, I didn't see any that were the same, but different sizes. Like I liked this, but all three of these are the same height. I like that one back there, and I could probably pair it with one of these, but I like the ones that I have. Now this cat. Cat ring holder? Stop it for $15. That's kind of, is that a normal price? Because, do I need this? I love this light blue stuff. I thought the pink would be my favorite, and don't get me wrong, it is. But that blue, this glass blue one here, those are so pretty. They do have dark blue things, 
and like good tall stuff on top. I was looking for something tall like this to go on the fireplace just to give it some height. I really like that one to the far left, this one right here. I think that says $30, large amber decorative something. That's that's cool. How do we feel about that? Here's a few green glass things. The, the green glass I'm looking for is like lamp wise for the bedroom. So while well, these are like really pretty, I don't really know where I would put them. I really like this though. You know, Brian's birthday is coming. I might could get him something cool. Vintage musical decanter. Okay, that's not a bad price. That could be something cool. He's been wanting to build like a second bar type area. Let me pull it out. Here's what it looks like. That's really cool. I think that he would really like that. Let me see if that's easy to come out. It was pretty easy to pull out. Do we like this for his birthday? I love things like this. I had some a while ago and I, we may still have them somewhere, but this like little glass dish I guess and then it tells you how to make I like these two candle holders but again I don't really need the candle holders this is pretty though it's like old school looking mirror I'm assuming this might be the Christmas room because look at all this how fun is this oh my gosh that's a little reindeer like blanket holder <gasps> I wish that wasn't a reindeer because that would be it kind of looks like a baby basket like a bassinet <laughs> and then they just put a tail on it that's a cool little piece. I don't know what I need this for, but we're buying it. This is really cool, like an old school typewriter. My niece has been wanting one of these. Royal typewriter, vintage. Oh, does it say vintage? No, 1939 to 1946, 80 bucks. Look at all these cool books. The Alabama Review, April 1957, October 1956. What is that one? The Alabama Historical Quarterly. These are cool for, what are they, $5? Is that what that says? Mm, I can't really read that writing. Three dollars. That's cool if you know someone who's like a history buff. Like a little basket of cool things like this would be nice. I did buy a couple of things, but we will open everything once I get home. Now let's ride down to Antiques, the loop one at the loop by the loop. Again, I'm not really sure. It's a little bit far, but... I feel like there we would have the most luck for lamps did i buy anything that i needed on my on my list i don't think so <laughs> but all right let's continue on antiques at the loop that's the name i was just walking past the bathroom look how cool they've made this little bathroom let's start in here because i see a bunch of lamps here's more of that blue glass it's a little bit pricier here but that's so pretty pair of matching lamps but see 275 is that each that's not in my price range these little ones are cute over here 425 like hmm? they have all the candlesticks too they're just like that one's 65 dollars compared to the other ones are like 12. here's some little plates those are pretty royal plate oh they're 12 dollars each that's pretty oh my gosh it's fine look Proof. everything's fine also I see the lamp room over there okay this is cool like that style if there were two but that's $95 listen we won't talk about price the whole time maybe we're just here for ideas <laughs> look how cute these napkins are drinks on me I like this base it's like green and gold I don't really care for the shade though but that's a cool color and shape and here we go with all the lamps so it's all these and then all these. Let's start in here. Okay, wait, we had something similar to this and Brian bought a kit and turned it into a lamp for the foyer. I'll put in a little video here. I didn't even consider something like that. Here's green, not really the green that I'm going for, but they have this size and the smaller size. Oh my gosh, I love that with the dog. Look, there it is with the black. That's so pretty and so different. We have a ton of white, like creamy white gold. That's not exactly, we talked about this already, not exactly what I'm going for. I like the shape though, where it's like thinner. 
so it's easier to push back on the nightstand. This room is really cool. Right off the bat, 230 bucks, that's it. Oh, it's like, it's not quite, I thought it was cement, it's not. But they have a ton of light features in here, maybe not so many lamps. Oh, but, oh, I thought that was picture frames, never mind. I was gonna say, I could use a cool picture frame. I love this, it's a little book nook. I really like that, $45 black something book rack. That is cool. If I if we had like an end table or something. These lamp bases are really cool. I like the glass with the gold. I'd probably switch out the lampshade and there are two of them. Okay, not exactly green. Pear, okay, so for the pear is 429. Oh, I like that table. No idea, no use for it. But that's really pretty, it's very beachy. This whole plate setup is really pretty. I like all the details, like the color. It's not in the center, but this is really pretty. I'm not really sure. Fontaine, VMA Fontaine service for eight. $99 with a star. Does that mean it's on sale? Is that all this for $99? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems a little cheap, like unreal, right? These are kind of cool lamps. A little glass like iridescent shade 220 for the pair they also have this little outside part they call it the courtyard and sometimes you can find some really great things back here like this is a pair of ice skates <laughs> like old school looking ice skates i really like these but i want this to be green also they're probably a little too tall those are more like buffet height lamps here's another little lamp room Maybe we'll find something cool in here. I like this. I really like that. But again, I I think I want more of a glass type lamp. But also I need to remember, I'm open to things like this because I forgot that Brian can just turn that into a lamp. Oh my gosh, how cute is that little paperweight? What a fun paperweight. There's a ton of them. <laughs> so a lot of these little booths will just repurpose things that they've found in stores but that's okay too iron field mouse mice set of two porch view home but i don't know how much they're selling them for while we're down this way let's just pop into this antique emporium i got quite a few of the plates for candace from here as well I, this is more my budget you know what i'm saying this right here would be perfect if there were two of them i would take these things off well, does that come off? It does. That would be that would be perfect, but I only see one. A lot of places seem to carry this style. I saw several at the last place, that antiques at the loop. It's just so pretty. So something like this, but the green glass, I think would be really pretty. That's what I'm going for, I think. Like I said, like when I see it, I will know, but this is just a cool, it's just a cool piece. Also, I need to come up with some new words, right? I stopped at one more little place called Florida Street Vintage. It's literally a block from where I just was. Um, didn't see anything. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock. I need to get food. I feel a little bit nauseous, like dizzy nauseous. All I've had today is that coffee. So I wanna see, I wanna get food. And then I think I'm gonna skip Charles Phillips Antiques only because it's even more expensive than the antiques at the loop place. And if I knew specifically, like if I wanted wooden type things, I think it would be great, but it's not really what I'm going for. So I'm going to get food and then I'm gonna try another place called White House, I think it's called White House Antiques. Um, I usually can find something there. The problem is a lot of the places will have vintage -y antique type stuff, but also new things and so it's hard to tell if it's worth you know buying it from them or getting it from somewhere else for cheaper i feel much better i had a wrap from mccallister's this is diet coke light ice all right we're at white house antiques i like this little vintage goose that's like the color scheme we're going for this set of dishes is kind of cool a little vintagey looking i like all the different colors it doesn't say like the only tag i can find is this Dishes 30 bucks. There's eight of everything. Large plates. One, two, three, four. Well, there's only six small ones. 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bowls. But there's eight plates. But that's pretty. It's a little more colorful than I was thinking. I like this little frame. I mean, it doesn't have glass in it. You'd have to figure out how to get the picture to stay. But also, I'd rather it be gold. So, like, little cute things like this, I'm also looking for. It's 15 bucks as is. Or do we like the taller brass bird? Oh, let's focus. Is it gonna focus? This one, this is the one that I'm talking about, right here. There we go. It's tall. I don't know, for some reason I like that smaller one better. Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Um, excuse me, are these lamps? Or do they hang from the ceiling? No. I wonder if we can turn these into like regular lamps we can find some sort of, oh, I don't know. Let me send a picture of these to Brian. Before we get into what I bought, let's talk about the lamps. Brian says he thinks that he can turn them into standing lamp lamps versus hanging lamps, um, but he wasn't for sure like how good they would look that way. So I said, never mind. Cause once you buy from these like resale type places, it's non-refundable, like I can't take it back. And they were 40 bucks a piece. So I was like, listen, just hold, hold your horses and let me just look online for something. But I did on the ride home on a whim run into Hobby Lobby because I didn't find any pools for the dresser and I just wanted to see what they had. I picked this one up. I know I told you I measured, but I also measured with a tape measure, my eyeballs and a lot of prayers because I'm not very good at things like this. So the outside is the same length. The inside I felt like was a little bit off, but also I didn't measure appropriately. I don't, I'm not sure. So I bought this one. I really liked it. I think it's cool, like a brassy, not too shiny gold. I like the detail. So we'll see how this works on the dresser. I did end up grabbing this vintage mid-century goose figurine is what they say. Laurel and Honey Vintage is the name of the booth, but I just thought it was fun. It's just cute. I liked the tall one that I showed you, that tall bird, but I felt like it was a little bit too tall. So this one I think could be nice somewhere. And the first place we went, I bought this. It's pretty, it's the colors that I want. Like I feel like these two, okay, they're not quite the same, but that's okay. Like I just like this look and it is functional. So we got this and then I did buy these two wooden Oh my gosh, it said it on the tag and she took the tag. Anyway, I liked the height of these and the natural look of them. I thought they were just cool, like interesting pieces. And then I had to pick this up. It's just pretty. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I have two other ones. I think one is apple pie and one is cherry pie. And I think they're so pretty. Like these are such good gifts too. I don't know. I like it. I think it was 10 bucks. Is that what I said? And I like that it tells you the ingredients on the inside. So that is my little haul for today. It didn't really go as planned, I'll be honest. I thought that I would have a lot better luck finding things. Like I even looked for little vintage looking gold brassy uh, picture frames. Didn't find any that I liked. I did look at Hobby Lobby too, but they weren't really the vibe that I was going for. I think what I'm going to do I think I'm gonna post this. I know I said I wanted to like get everything and decorate and show you, but I don't know, like I do clothes here, so I'm not sure if you're into this kind of video. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this. First though, I'm gonna look online and see if I can find the exact lamps I want. If I find them, I will put a little picture or a video here of the ones that I ended up purchasing. If not, and you like this kind of video, we'll keep going and we'll go out to maybe Maybe travel a little bit further out of town because there may be some vintage antique, like thrift type stores out that way. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this bit of a shopping day with me. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe. I'm still looking for a tall mirror for my bedroom to go on the wall with the little cat bed, like on my side of the bed, that wall. And then we want to paint in there as well. And then maybe if I can find something cool to go over the bed. So it's still a work in progress. This wasn't like an end all be all thrifting type haul. But anyway, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all. Psych, we're not done yet. Let's go see if this actually fits. Nope, I think it might be too, yeah, it's too short. Cause that's where the screw is and that's where the other one is. But that would be really pretty had it fit properly. So I was right. I measured about four and a half inches. Okay. All right. So this will go back.